లయన్స్ క్లబ్ ఆధ్వర్యంలో న్యూజెర్సీలో న్యూ వాయిసెస్ అనే పేరుతో అంతర్జాతీయ మహిళా దినోత్సవ వేడుకలు ఘనంగా నిర్వహించారు ఈ కార్యక్రమాన్ని న్యూజెర్సీ స్మాల్ బిజినెస్ డెవలప్మెంట్ కౌన్సిల్ మరియు ఛాంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ కామర్స్ మద్దతుతో న్యూజెర్సీ లయన్స్ క్లబ్ వారు స్పాన్సర్ చేశారు District Governor Anu, I know you have a busy program and a short time, so thank you for inviting me to be a part of it, and I wish you all great success as we go forward, building better communities, one community at a time. Corporate Rangam Lo Mahila Lo Yedur Kuna Samasya Le Pai Vaktar Prasang In Charu. District Governor Anu, thank you so much. I want to compliment everyone who helped to organize and everyone who came to participate in this Lions celebration of the International Women's Day. Uh, you as leading women in business, entrepreneurship, in your professions, you make an impact. That is what our focus this year in Lions Clubs has been about, your voices your new voices. Within our association, we have more than 100 years history of community service. But most of that service was conducted by clubs made up of men only. This year, we have focused on balance for better. Balance for better ideas. Balance for better governance and decision making. Balance for better connections in our community. Every one of us, male or female, needs to contribute to the betterment of our communities. All of us want to live in safe, healthy communities, right? right. All of us want to raise our children or grandchildren in healthy communities, right? Yes. right. Lions clubs are dedicated to building strong, healthy communities. Now we're doing that in over 200 countries around the world. This is a global network. And when you join a Lions Club, you become part of that networking. As a woman, as an entrepreneur, as a community member, as a humanitarian, this is your opportunity to connect with men and women serving together who are part of a global family. You will have the opportunity to increase your professional expertise through that network. You will have opportunities to lead in ways you cannot do at work or in your other uh, aspects of your life. I have to, okay. Um, especially at a time when we are celebrating International Women's Day and we're taking stock uh, in the fact that we are making major contributions um, worldwide. And um, first I'd like to start off by talking to you about um, um, uh, the Small Business Development Center and the SBA. Now, um, uh, I was asked to speak on challenges facing women, but you know, these are the challenges that we all face as we start to consider Uh, starting a business and, and being successful in our pursuits as business owners. Um, so let me just tell you about the SBA and about the SBDC, and that'll give us a start. Now, how many of you have ever heard of the SBA? Federal agency. Well, you can consider the SBDC, the Small Business Development Centers that are all available all around the nation and beyond, Um, you can consider us the service arms of the SBA because we provide the training and counseling 
um, that will, uh, technical assistance that will help people to become um, uh, a good candidate to take advantage of this, the uh, incentives that are offered by the SBA, the Small Business Administration. Um, we offer uh, a variety of courses and we offer training and workshops uh, to help people become successful. And we always take a special effort to make sure that women enterprises are aware of the fact that there are lots of special programs that you need to be aware of and you need to have your company certified and registered so that you will be able to um, uh, eventually <coughs> I forgot to tell you, I'm having a little cold problem, so uh, raspy, a little raspy with the voice, but I wouldn't miss being here. So I, I, I just want you to know that if you do not know about the services of the SBDC, please let me have your card um, so that we can get you um, in, our, in our mailing list so that you can be made aware of the different opportunities that we provide for, um, for people to um, grow their businesses. Now. I'm going to um, take this time to share with you a couple of things that um, uh, once again can apply to men and they can also apply to women. We just happen to be better at a lot of it, I would say. One of the things as you start to consider getting into business is, you know, be prepared. Start to prepare yourself. If it's a dream in your head, if it's an idea that you have, you want to start your own business, or even if you're already in business and you want to grow your business, then start by really, really solidifying your business and, be, and being prepared. Usually, that means um, making sure that you're looking good on paper. Now, what do I mean by looking good on paper? It means that if you're going to be in business or if you're planning on expanding your business, you want to make sure that your financials are in order because at some point you may need to be evaluated based on how well you're running that business. Um, you want to be efficient, you want to be profitable, you want to be effective, and you want people to see you that way on paper. Um, uh, a lot of times we think that um, the more we can shave off so that Uncle Sam doesn't catch us is, is a little bit more advantageous. But if you're thinking about uh, an end game that's going to result in probably bigger success, probably maybe getting a, a capital infusion of some kind, pro probably uh, talking to an investor, you want to look good on paper. That's one thing that's very, very, very important. Um, the other thing that I find is very important, and I'm a lifelong learner of this, is you want to sharpen the saw. Have you ever heard of that expression, sharpen the saw? How many have ever heard of that? How many have ever heard of Stephen Covey? Yep. Okay, and one of his habits. Uh, so sure. And today, as we celebrate International Women's Day, it goes on. For me, celebration of International Women's Day is probably through the year till we come to the next 8th of March, right? Because it's always a celebration. But celebration together with doing something is so important. And that is why we believe that it's about doing something different. You need to do, you need to earn the money, you need to pass your time, you need to do something definitely, I totally agree. But together with that, you also need to do something which is good for the soul, right? You need to do something which makes you smile. You need to do something which makes you sleep better at night. You need to do something that makes you feel, I am, I am important. And when you can do that, probably that gives meaning to your life. Networking is so important. Absolutely. We just heard the speaker say, it is the crux of doing anything that you want to achieve in life. And that is what we have. I am part of Lions Clubs International. I've been on uh, with this organization for so many years, 20, 25, been a member for 30 years, but really a lion, I would say, for 20 years. And what made me become a lion? What made me interested? I became a lion because my father was a lion member. And he said, why don't you join? So I just joined. That was not the important thing. But what was important was, that as you joined, and for 10 years, I did not even do, just do anything. But after that, suddenly started realizing how important it is 
to look at people who are not as lucky as you and me are. There are thousands and thousands of people who probably have no place to sleep, who do not know where the next meal is going to come from. Truly, we are the privileged lot. And that made me realize that we need to do something somewhere, somehow, to reach out and touch somebody's lives. And once you start doing that, your life becomes totally enriched. Your life goes to another level altogether. And your life becomes so meaningful that you start loving yourself because you're making a difference. And today, to those who have come here and joined this event, who are not LINE members, I would say, this is your opportunity, my dear friends. This is your opportunity to join a network. We are a network, we are in 210 countries and geographical areas. I came a few years back, five, six, seven, eight, I don't know, how long was it? Eight years back, maybe to New Jersey. Happened to meet Mahesh at the Lions Day at the UN. We have a li uh, the Lions meet every year, once a year, at the United Nations. And we were there and he says, why don't you join for lunch with my members tomorrow? I tell you, I met people like Anu, Varsha, Subarna. There were so many of them, so many members who I don't even see today. But we formed a kind of a bond. I have not come here since then, since those eight or nine years. Since then, I haven't come here. But we keep in touch on social media. I see what they are doing. They see what we are doing. And wherever we are, it's a kind of a bonding that has taken place. Would you ever believe that me in Kolkata, India, eastern part of India, so far out from here, how or why would I have a connection in New Jersey? But it happened because both of us were line members. And just because we wore this label pin, it gave us a connect. And that connection is not only New Jersey, I can tell you, it's in almost every part of the world. My nephew who was here with me today, as we were driving in, he kept asking me, which countries have you been to? And as I started saying New Zealand, Australia, we went on and on and on, he was amazed. And I thought to myself, it is amazing, really. If it wouldn't have been for this network, I would not have been able to see or know people around the world. I wouldn't have known Melvin, I wouldn't have known Mahesh, I wouldn't have known Anu, I wouldn't have known anybody here sitting in this room. But I'm here because we belong to this network. It's an incredible network, absolutely incredible. You don't even have to travel. Nowadays, thanks to social media, we are in touch almost every single day. I know exactly what the Edison Lions are doing. I know exactly what is the Menlo Park Lions doing. Because any wonderful deals that you have, fabulous, where's Ojas? Outside. Another great guy. And the way he's developed, I think you have one example of an individual who has become from a young, a very small <laughs> little boy, to was such a responsible individual. I think it's all because of the exposure, and we'll have to agree, I know she's a good mother, but exposure because of this organization. He saw the world. He met people from all over the world. And that really teaches you something. You spoke about sharpening your saw. Absolutely important. Maybe in business we have to do that, but it's not only in business. I think in everyday life we need to sharpen our saw, right? How do we deal with the youngsters today? You have a business, how do you deal with your customers? How do you deal with your vendors? How do you deal, how do you face the challenges that we have to face every single day? Believe me, this organization teaches you life skills which probably, I would believe, no management school, uh, school can also teach you. Because you are actually living it. Here we are living with a group of people. We work with a group of people. And what do we do? Melvin spoke about Melinda Gates Foundation. Yes, we have all those kind of foundations that we work with. But really, in our own communities, we are working as a group, a team of LION members. And each member is different. Each member speaks a different language. Each member has a different need. Each member has a different talent. But when it comes all together on the table, that, that talent, that pool of talent put together can make a tremendous difference. It's like an explosion. And you cannot imagine how, as a team, you can make a tremendous difference. I would urge you, think about it, those who do not wear this Lions badge. If you would just wear the badge, it's not only about wearing the badge, it is about giving back something. Many times you want to do something for somebody, right? And you do not know, how can I help? How can I make that difference? Or 
it's not easy to take out one a piece of old clothing and go and give it out to somebody. Very difficult. In fact, that's exactly what my sister was, just, my cousin, I was just, we were driving down, and she says, you know, it's so difficult. I can't find anybody to even give my old clothes to. What do I do? And I just thought to myself, if only she would join a Lions Club. <laughs>